Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Viewers of The Kelly Clarkson Show were left seething when Monday's program was dramatically pulled off air without warning for a breaking news alert about Donald Trump. The hour-long show was cut off just nine minutes in as it was announced that the former president, 78, had picked Ohio Senator J.D. Vance as his running mate. The unwelcome interruption took place as Kelly, 42, played a never-seen-before clip from an interview with Justin Timberlake as part of her special Best of Boy Bands Hour, and ahead of her chats with new kids on the block, Donnie and Mark Wahlberg and Ricky Martin. The show eventually returned to the air after 16 minutes, but failed to pick up from where it left off. Frustrated fans flocked to social media to complain about the interruption. Ain't no way they just interrupted the Kelly Clarkson show to tell us Trump's running mate, wrote one frustrated viewer on X. Another fumed, they really just cut the Kelly Clarkson show out of nowhere to this Republican SH asterisk T. A third said, the one time it bite my tongue for LH and I try to watch the Kelly Clarkson show for BTR, it gets interrupted. Over on Instagram, another begged NBC to take action and upload the episode in its entirety online. They wrote, please upload the full unseen interview to the official Kelly Clarkson Show YouTube channel. It was interrupted on live TV by a special report. The news alert was hosted by anchor Kristen Welker, 48, just days after Trump was targeted at a Republican rally in Pennsylvania. Good afternoon we are coming on the air with breaking news, she said. Former President Donald Trump has made a choice. He has just posted on his platform social that J.D. Vance is going to be his vice president. So, the ticket is going to be Trump and Vance. He has aligned with him consistently in that time. The news is coming just before they are both set to be formally nominated on the first day of the Republican National Convention, and less than 48 hours ahead of the assassination attempt at his rally over the weekend and just hours after the documents case was dismissed by the judge in Florida. Trump left it until the last possible moment, using all his showman skills to leave the world guessing, before opting for 39-year-old Vance after the Republican National Convention had already begun in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. He made his announcement on Truth Social, dropping it just as delegates were rubber-stamping his nomination as presidential candidate. J.D. has had a very successful business career in technology and finance, and now, during the campaign, will be strongly focused on the people he fought so brilliantly for, the American workers and farmers in Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin, Ohio, Minnesota, and far beyond, he said. Vance swept to national attention when he published his best-selling memoir, Hillbilly Elegy, in 2016, the year Trump was elected president. He has been a senator for less than two years, but has established himself as one of the fiercest defenders of Trump's Make America Great Again agenda especially when it comes to foreign policy, trade and immigration. The former venture capitalist and U.S. Marine had initially been critical of Trump. He didn't vote for Trump in 2016 and around that time tweeted, my God what an idiot. But insiders said he became increasingly politicized as he watched the nation's elite institutions turn on the Trump presidency even as he delivered on his promises.